They have a distinct bluegrass sound that you can't help but tap your toes to. And these days, their music is reaching a huge audience full of small members. Parents are interested in getting their kids exposed to, to positive music that has a message um, like, like getting outdoors, like our music has. And they're willing to bring their kids out to experience what it's like to be a fan. Another thing about children's music, playing for kids and families is you don't have to be out at a bar until two in the morning and it's, it's a lot more sustainable. For us it has been, it, it's, we wake up and kind of go, go to work. The Okie Dokie brothers have been playing together since they were little. Well, they're not real brothers, they are best friends. We didn't really have a choice about it, really. We, uh, we've known each other since we were three years old. We started playing music together in high school. Joe gave me my first guitar that he had, um, and, and I started learning, and we started, you know, writing songs together, um, and that's how it still happens. Brother, brother, we know one another. Justin Lansing and Joe Malander grew up in the shadow of the Rocky Mountains in Denver. When Joe moved to Minnesota for college, Justin eventually followed. They've been performing side by side ever since. Growing up making music together since then, and we're still growing up. <laughs> uh, we consider ourselves kids that still that make music together and um, explore friendship and the outdoors through bluegrass and folk music. Once we were able to talk about music to each other, it, it brought it, our friendship to, a, to another depth. Let it roll. They reach kids in a different way than most musicians. By being outside ourselves, we're inspiring all the other people to be outside as well. What the guys do outside works as research and songwriting sessions. We took a road trip down the Great River Road along the Mississippi, and um, it was inspiring for us, and we thought, you know, we should get out there, um, get out on a canoe, right out on the river, and write some songs and you know have that as as our um, as the whole point of our music. On June 1st of 2011, the group set out on a month-long canoe trip down the Mississippi River. Their drummer and videographer were also along for the ride. They paddled at least 30 miles a day, riding the whole way. Overhead or 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 under like under. Overhead. Okay, ready? Yo, here it is. I'm sleeping. The four of us get really close. We have to sleep in two tents because we can only carry what's on our back. Um, and we share meals, every meal is together. And that's a great thing. During the trip, you know, it's sometimes difficult and there's a lot of uh, decisions that we have to make that are, that are really tough. But we definitely look back fondly on those experiences. You really want your music to inspire and to motivate. Mm -hmm. That's right, we, we kind of have a mission that we don't really write songs that say, you know, don't litter and make sure you recycle and all those kind of more of a preaching type of songwriting style. We'd rather inspire um, a lifelong relationship with, with nature so that it's inherent. The guys were led on a new adventure after that Mississippi River trip, an honor that every musician dreams of. In the children's music category, there were about 120 um, submissions. So when they announced the five nominees, we were honored to be in the midst of some really great musicians that have influenced us. The Yoki Doki Brothers weren't just nominated for a Grammy in the Best Children's Album category in 2013, they won. What was it like when they said your name, that you, you know, you in fact won? What was going through your mind? Well, we were sitting there. Um, I was just really um, nervous at that <laughs> point. And, 
and and it's it's I mean like they say when they're up giving those speeches like that's that was just incredible I never thought it would happen to me you know and it, it did feel that way being Grammy award-winning musicians that's a game changer isn't it a little bit yeah things are going well after the win the best thing in our opinion that's happened is the music has gotten out to a larger audience. Their next adventure album has them tapping into a tradition that's been around for hundreds of years along the east coast of the country. Are you excited about the, the material that uh, came to you while you were on this trip? Definitely. There's a really nice thing about um, being in Appalachia is that sound of old time mountain music. They spent 25 days hiking the Appalachian Trail and met with folk musicians on a few different stops. You have to carry everything that you own when you're out on the trail. So um, you're, just, you're hiking with your whole life, basically, right there on your back. And um, that's a song, you know, there's something there. The Okie Dokie Brothers hope to take children's music to a new level, one the whole family can enjoy and understand from the very start. It comes down to having a story that um, people can relate to, a universal story. And, you know, we're friends since a young age, and that's part of our story. We love being outdoors, and that's another part of our story. So we just wanted to kind of put that out there to kind of show who we are and what we stand for. Ultimately, they want their listeners to do just what their songs say. Some realistic takeaway would be them, you know, planning a, a trip with their family and saying, let's do a day canoe trip or let's go on a day hike. The brothers look forward to helping more families get outside as these Grammy award-winning band gathers more fans, one catchy tune at a time. Just maybe carve out a little bit of time in your schedule to relax and enjoy natural surroundings. It's been great for us. You're gonna take me all around. You're gonna take Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.